For many years now, my viewers have seen videos of me doing load development at the shooting range. For years, you've seen me with my little magneto speed, rifle cool barrel cooler, cooling my barrel between shots. Lots of my viewers use the same tool during load development. It's actually very popular. It actually might be the most popular barrel cooler in use right now. But last month, I received an email from Ross in Central California, and Ross was using a Magneto Speed Rifle Cool Barrel Cooler to do his load development, just like me. And when he was at the range, he was approached by, you know, a really well set up target shooter who showed him a cool contraction that he was using to cool his barrel. Basically, he ordered a little thing called the world's tiniest blower from Amazon and rigged some cheap tubing to his barrel. And Ross copied this configuration and claimed that it cools his barrel much faster than his rifle cool barrel cooler. This made me very curious, so I ordered supplies and put together my own barrel cooler. Let me show you what I did and how it worked. So these parts were ordered on Amazon, and I put links to everything in the description below. The blower itself, this little uh, mini blower that looks like a little tiny leaf blower, this thing was $13 on Amazon, and this is the exact same blower that uh, the other guys used that uh, described this barrel cooler. I also bought a short length of 3 8 inside diameter silicone tubing. And this silicone tubing is rated for 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And a bolt action rifle doing load development will never get that hot. And one meter of this 3 8 inside diameter silicone tubing cost me $7. So the total for this whole setup is $20. The Magneto Speed rifle cool barrel cooler is $60. So this turbo cooler is only one third the price. But here's the catch. This turbo cooler runs off of a USB power bank. And in the end though, a power bank is a big cost savings because you won't be constantly buying batteries. Actually, the rifle cool barrel cooler does go through a lot of batteries. When you buy your power bank, I highly recommend Anchor brand power banks. To me, I think they're the best as far as quality goes. And this really nice Anchor 20,000 milliamp power bank is only $28 on Amazon. And this thing will run this blower for a really long time on one charge. I mean, we're talking multiple range trips. And I don't even think I've brought down half the battery in this thing with that. So, and you know, of course, a power bank is useful for other things too. I mean, I take these on international travels with me to charge our phone and cameras and equipment and everything. So their use goes well beyond just your barrel cooler. So the big claim with this turbo cooler setup is that it cools the barrel much faster than commercial barrel coolers by flowing air faster. Given that the structure of a barrel is pretty much a constant, increased air velocity will facilitate a higher heat transfer rate. Using a barrel cooler like this starts a process known as forced convection heat transfer. Basically, the higher the air velocity, 
the better the cooling effect in this application. So to test the effectiveness of this barrel cooler setup, I'll place one of my crystals one inch away from the end of the barrel and measure the air velocity going through it. And I'll test this turbo cooler up against the magneto speed using the same exact method and determine if this turbo blower is actually an improvement over the commercial barrel coolers. And this is the magneto speed rifle cool barrel cooler. And to make testing fair, I just added a brand new Energizer lithium battery to this. And of course it takes those stupid one, two, three batteries that seem to run out really fast and I hate them. But uh, let's put this in here. And this is a really compact and easy to use barrel cooler. And it has an integral magnet that holds the device in place on the receiver, which is also convenient. So let's see how this performs in this barrel. Turn it on. It's like it's maxing out at 3.4 miles an hour. So as you can see, the turbo cooler set up here is a much bigger package that takes more time to set up. You basically shove this tube right here inside the chamber as far as it'll go and uh, you turn it on. So let's see how this performs out of the same barrel. Climbing over seven. Looks like we got 7.1 miles an hour on that one. An inch away from the barrel. So this turbo cooler performed significantly better than the Magneto Speed rifle cool system. As a matter of fact, the velocity with this turbo setup was about twice as much. Actually, it was a little bit more than twice as much. You know, I was a little bit worried about this setup at first because I was afraid that uh, this tube wasn't going to seal in the chamber, you know, like because this rifle cool set up right here, you know, it has this rubber grommet seal on it and uh, this tube doesn't. So I was worried that it wasn't going to seal, but uh, it does. You don't have to worry about that. Just out of curiosity, I tried to use one of these little plastic connectors like this to seal tight into the chamber. And, uh, you know, I even tried to step down to a smaller tube so it goes in there further and kind of locks itself in. But those efforts actually caused less airflow than this setup. It just, uh, the air just doesn't want to be pushed through a smaller orifice. So, you know, uh, simply shoving this tube right here into the chamber as far as it'll go and turning the unit on yielded the best results in my testing. I mean, I always got over seven miles an hour velocity, air velocity through the barrel with it set up like this. So I like it. Another thing I found is, you know, you could shove this hose into the chamber right there and you can actually close the bolt on it a little bit and that kind of holds it in place right there where it won't move. And that also works without a real loss in velocity. But uh, what I basically found out with this setup is you don't have to get cute or creative with this hose. It works great in this simple configuration right here, and there's just no need to complicate it. All right, as you saw in those tests, this turbo cooler flows air through the barrel at a higher velocity, and as a result, it's going to cool the barrel better.
So this turbo cooler setup, obviously, outperforms the commercial barrel coolers. And it does it at one-third the price, which is a big deal in my opinion. But this isn't perfect. The commercial barrel coolers are very compact and easy to fit in your range bag. The turbo cooler, with its added power bank, takes up a lot more space than the commercial barrel coolers do. Also, commercial barrel coolers are ready to use right out of the box. You know, you don't need to order a, a separate piece of tube and piece it together like you do with the turbo cooler. And, you know, this makes the commercial units much more convenient to a lot of people. But if you're a guy like me that does a lot of painstaking and time-consuming load development on the bench, your time is very valuable to you. And anything that makes proper load development faster is worth it to me. And I don't have to keep changing out those expensive one, two, three batteries and something like this. So from now on, when you see me at the range, you'll likely see this turbo cooler sitting on my bench. And I want to thank Ross for passing on this great idea to me and the anonymous target shooter that, that showed Ross this uh, neat contraption right here. As always, thank you for watching and good hunting.